Hey guys, it's Kimberly and I am going to wait to see if we are on the right place for Dixie Bell. It may, we may be a few minutes early, so I'm just going to take a moment and wait to see when we're supposed to come on with them. So I'm just going to give um, everything just a minute here because I think I'm a little bit early. So I'll just wait and see when Dixie Bell prompts me we will um, kind of move forward but I think I'm a little bit early so I'm gonna wait for somebody to join me here I'm pretty sure we're where we need to be I'm just gonna mess with this tripod just a little bit and get back and wait to see hopefully we're where we need to be so I'm just gonna wait on the airwaves here because I may be I may be early a few minutes early so sit here and hope that somebody joins us soon because we are to be going live for Dixie Bell and I hope I'm on the right page I'll have to wait for a Dixie Bell admin to come on and tell me to either <laughs> make sure I'm on the right page um, so I'm just gonna wait here until we have some people with us and not sure it's quite time so I'll just have to see where we are. Hopefully we are on the right page. I think we're just a few minutes early. We will wait our turn here. So I believe somebody will be with me to let me know. I don't know if I've swiped us out of the comments. I can just kind of see here. Pardon me for getting up close. going on so it says I'm live but I don't know I may be on the wrong page I think we're supposed to go on the Dixie Bell page wait a few moments to see if anybody comes on with us I believe I'm on the right place um, so we'll just have to wait and see See if somebody comes live with us to let us know where we are, where we're supposed to be. We may have to jump off of this page and jump on a different one. I'm not sure, but I was thinking we're supposed to go here. So I could be wrong. Dixie Bell's main page, I think, is where I'm supposed to be. Hmm. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any response out there. If you guys, anybody's with me, let me know. Um, anybody in the Dixie Bell side of things. To see if, yes, okay. Am I, I think I'm live now. Um, okay, I think we are, we're good to go, okay. My name is Kimberly. I'm coming to you guys from Kernersville, North Carolina. I am a premier retailer for Dixie Bell Chalk Paint, as well as a retailer for Prima Design Transfers. So um, I'm working on a cute little uh, project here. I have a couple of them, obviously, in my workshop that you guys see that I'm working on. I want to thank Dixie Bell for bringing us on tonight. Thank you for giving us this time um, in your calendar to join us tonight. I know um, it is Thanksgiving Eve, if you will. And I don't know if you guys, but I have been busy prepping everything, getting all of my um, pre-items made and ready. So all I have to do tomorrow is plop them in the oven and have everything ready to rock and roll so that we can watch the parade and spend time with family and friends. So um, tonight I was just going to do something fun. Um, I hope uh, you guys, uh, hope I entertain you enough with that. Um, I just finished a um, whimsical chair, so this has been kind of popular um, here in my area. I've done quite a few of these, and I've done one, um, I don't know as if I've done it on live for Dixie Bell, but these are all obviously Dixie Bell paint colors. This is a special order for a young lady for a Christmas, so um, I finished that for them. So this is just some of the little um, things I get into and um, are making, but tonight, everybody... 
if you guys know you've been out there and you've been getting your Christmas decorations um, hey thank you for joining us hey you are on the Dixie Bell page does that mean I'm on the wrong one or I hope I'm on the right one okay so um, I hope I'm on the right one I'm sorry I have to get close I can't see too good without my glasses I have to be up there to see what's going on but um, I'm gonna do something fun and something whimsical uh, I have done a few of these you guys have seen out this holiday season the gnomes have just been all over the place so we're just covered in gnomes this year it's a really popular thing i've got two workshop classes set up for the gnomes and we will be working on those um, in our workshops but i wanted to do one tonight uh, they've gotten really popular and um, so we've got two of those working out several workshops here in our area I've just recently myself joined with Habitat for Humanity and um, we're doing a couple of workshops there as well and so we're just kind of bringing Dixie Bell just everywhere and showing people that not only can we paint obviously I've got a piece of furniture back here you see the Dixie mud on there that is drying in North Carolina it's a little cool so I do let my Dixie mud sit up so I am working on that project behind me I'm not going to paint it tonight however because tonight is Thanksgiving Eve if you will and I just kind of wanted to come on and create something fun and whimsical so I thought we would jump in here with our with our gnome so I am going to be painting this gnome tonight and show you guys what we do in our live workshops and um, so I have several of them cut out over there ready and prepped for my workshop and then I'm going to do this one with you guys tonight and so I've chose a few colors here I like the bold bright colors um, some of the colors we don't use a lot and with our Dixie Belle paint is our tree frog green there's some of our real popular really bold amethyst bright colors that peacock some of those colors are just excellent for doing a gnome and I'm doing tall gnomes because a lot of the ladies here in our area, our homes are kind of back off the road a little bit. So I'm building them nice and tall so that we can see them. So if you have any questions for me here, um, thank you for joining us, Kathy, and everybody that's out there tonight, joining me tonight while we're ready for our feast tomorrow. So tonight I'm actually going to use on this one, I'm going to use our barn red. So it's a bright red color. And uh, so I'm going to paint my whole piece and I am going to dry and I will have to dry it a little bit with my dryer so y'all bear with me you can turn your volume down a little bit if it's too loud for you guys just to kind of help my paint along I do that in our workshops because sometimes we have time constraints and, um, and I don't want to keep you guys I know you probably have lots to do but I take my um, this is my Dixie Belle medium brush it's my mini and I do moisten my brush even when I'm working on a craft project. Dixie Bell paints are wonderful for crafts. So they're not just for painting our furniture. Sometimes it's fun to just do something a little out of the box. So tonight that's what I'm going to do. And I hope you guys can just bear with me on that. So it's a little something. And I'm just going to show you this is a bare piece of wood. Nothing's been done to it. You see... Um, and um, if you are new to Dixie Belle, you will see the coverage that you get with Dixie Belle paint. Now I'm using a red, the um, one I did on my live over on my page, I did an amethyst and it turned out gorgeous. I love the amethyst color, but tonight I thought I would go with the barn red. So um, it would really be nice and bold. And of course I would paint my sides. I don't know how much time uh, Dixie Bell has allotted to us, but we won't take up too much time. It will do something fun. You, this will inspire you to just grab a board and start crafting with us. So we thank you for being here tonight. Let us know where you're from so we can welcome you and say uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight on your very busy Thanksgiving Eve evening. We appreciate you taking the time to stop in with us and see what we are working on. And we thank Dixie Bell for having us tonight. We appreciate that. We love coming um, live and showing the different things that we work on. You see, I've got several little projects all around me here. And I'm on my, um, this is a nice tall gnome. I'm a short girl, so I'm gonna have to stand up a little bit 
And I'm gonna try and tilt you guys without messing us up here. Sorry for the lighting here. So I'm just gonna go up a little higher here and get my gnome all painted one color. So I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna get my paint on. I'll show you guys just how easy it is to create your very own gnomes. And you can make your gnomes any different size or shape hats. You can change your hats whichever direction you want them to go. I would paint the sides on this, but I'm not for tonight. I will get back into that after so that I'm not taking up too much time. So I say that. That way we can kind of move along. I say that and then I think, oh, I want to get in there and paint that. But you see how quick and easy. And also um, what you are noticing on this bare wood door or board, you can see that I have one coat coverage with our Dixie Bell um, Barn Red. Just one coat coverage there on a bare piece of wood. That's not a normal thing. A lot of times your paint will seek into your, into your pieces. I also have my baby wipes. You guys, I don't ever go anywhere without my baby wipes. My baby wipes um, get the paint off of my hands. And they also, if you're in a crunch or in a workshop, you can take your brush and wrap your brush up in a baby wipe. That'll keep the bristles moist until you can get somewhere to clean your brushes. So if you're in a workshop and you don't have a lot of water or access to water, that's a little tidbit. You can get a baby wipe. You can wrap your brush up in a baby wipe, put it in a Ziploc baggie, and just bring them home and clean them. So um, if you don't have access to water and you are doing a workshop somewhere, don't let that stop you because that's a good way to do that. So I am just going to stick my brush because where we are tonight, I'm not going to need this big brush tonight. I've got my one coat coverage with my paint. I'm just going to stick it in my water and I'm going to let it sit there, like I said, until um, I get back to it because the brushes I'm going to use from here on out are going to be just artisan brushes. So I do have just a few little brushes that I will be painting uh, the nose and, um, and the beard and all that fun stuff. So um, this ought to be uh, fun. Fun, whimsical thing to do. Maybe you guys can do this over your your um, Thanksgiving break here where you have a little time off and maybe you want to craft and do a few things. This is great, something to do with the kiddos as well. So um, everybody can enjoy. Now I'm going to take my blow dryer. So if you need to turn your volume down just a moment, I'm going to take my blow dryer and kind of help this along. So help it dry a little bit. So I apologize, it will be a little bit noisy. But just hit your volume a little bit and it'll take us on down out of um, the noise. I apologize for that, but I know it's going to be a little noisy. So I'm just going to help my paint dry up a little bit. It's a little cool here in North Carolina. So I always have a blow dryer. It always helps. Our paint dries rather quickly, but this will just kind of help it along its way. So don't be afraid to grab one and um, go at it. I'm just going to try and dry her up real fast. You can see the paint drying as I'm using my blow dryer. Won't take me very long. Get her dry so I can get my rest of my Pardon the noise, I apologize. It does take a minute. So if you're in a workshop class, and you're trying to get your paint to cure a little quicker. Now it won't be cured, but it'll be dry to the touch. It'll be dry enough that we can paint. So I apologize for all the loud noise here. You can see it's not coming off on my hand. So that's exactly how long it takes to kind of cure up your paint.
Okay, sorry about that, but thank you for bearing with me on that. I know it was a little bit noisy and I apologize. Um, if you guys have any comments for us, please let us know so that we can kind of um, help you out there and um, tell you any information that you might need about doing these gnomes. I don't know if anybody has done this on Dixie Bell yet, but um, I'm hoping it will be something you guys will enjoy. So now my paint is dry. You see, I can touch it. I just dried it really quickly and I'm just going to take a pencil and one of Dixie Bell's little um, paint cans and I'm going to use that to kind of plop in my nose so that I know how to where I want to put my nose. So I'm just going to kind of measure out where I want it to be. So it'll be probably about right in here. So I'm just going to get where I can see this and I'm just going to make myself a little circle. So there you see I have a little circle. It just kind of gives me a little something to go by. And then I'm just going to kind of come up and down. Kind of gives me um, a guideline to where and how I want to put my gnome in. So um, now hopefully I'm on the right place here where we need to be so that we can answer any questions that you guys might have for us out there. And I am going to take apricot. This is apricot and I'm going to plug the nose in on my little gnome with the apricot and um, I'm kind of looking at it sideways here hopefully you guys can see as well so I'm just going to come in here grab one of my artisan brushes and get my nose on so just got my uh, apricot paint here and I'm just going to come in here this is kind of a skin tone you know, we're doing a gnome. He doesn't have to be absolutely perfect or she. Um, I'm assuming they're boys because all the gnomes tend to have a beard. So, I don't know if you guys have seen this before or not. I know we do a lot of furniture on here. So, I just thought it would be something fun since it's Thanksgiving weekend. Um, just to do a little bit of crafting. So I'm just going to plug in my little nose and I'm going to let that dry. And the reason I dried it was so that I wouldn't be pulling my paint back off when um, I dried it and cured it a little bit there. And then I'm going to come in and start with my fluff. I have some fluff here and I'm going to use this for my beard. So I'm just going to kind of shake it up and just kind of show you guys. I know this is just kind of a quick whimsical fun activity that'll be really great to do with with your grandkids if you have uh, youngins over over the weekend and I'm just going to come in here and just start creating off of here I have an idea of where I was going with that um, we did create several of these I just want to kind of see where I'm at and I just freehand because they are really really fun just kind of come in here with my paint and just kind of freehand how you want to do it so i'm just going to paint in i've been doing several of these um, putting them out and selling them they're really fun and you can make your beard as long as you want as you go along so i'm just going to put my white in and you see just how, how fun that comes together. You start seeing it and um, it just kind of starts taking shape. And I'm just going to come in here. We've had several girls um, in uh, the Dixie Bell line that have been doing workshops with these, myself included. And they've just been kind of fun. They've gotten a lot of popularity. And um, it just is just kind of interesting to do. So I'm gonna come in here and do that. I'm gonna put my fluff down for a minute and I'm just putting my brushes on their lids. And then I'm gonna come in um, with my Manatee Gray. So I'm using Manatee Gray here and I'm gonna kind of add some gray. So I'm just gonna mix it, put a little gray in along the edge and it seems like there's another color I want to use as well. I might bring my coffee bean in as well. So I'm gonna grab it while I was thinking about it. And then I'm just gonna come in and add some, some gray. 
I have all these colors in my workshop because I'm always painting stuff. So um, hopefully you guys can kind of see how it's coming together, how quick it is. It's really just fun. It doesn't have to be perfect, but my, my gnome is going to be old. I'm giving him some gray. And I'm just going to come in here. If you have any questions for us, just shoot them at us and um, we will be able to help you any way uh, we can. And we did, I did do a live uh, last evening on my Facebook page where we were working on the piece behind me here. And um, so we always start and do one, 101 sort of from very basic beginning cleaning, prepping your pieces, getting them ready for uh, paint. But I know you guys see a lot of that on our um, on Dixie Bell's page, so I thought it might would be kind of fun just to do a little, just a little bit of crafting along the way, and just seeing how you can incorporate Dixie Bell's paints to do crafting, not just um, all decor and furniture. So let me grab another one of these brushes because I'm going to come in and give them. Let's see, with my, this is coffee bean. I use coffee bean a lot. You'll see me use it on the top of a lot of my pieces. I do love this, co this color. So it's a brown, it's a, a dark brown color. So I'm just gonna use it to come in here and add some highlighting. And Give it some shading, if you will, over here to kind of define this area. And yeah, my paint is wet, but it's okay. So um, anybody having, what are we having for dinner tomorrow? Does anybody have any... Um, any tradition, I know everybody has a tradition for what they like to serve and who's cooking it up and those sort of things. So I'm just curious if, um, what those, what those projects are, what you guys have, um, prepared for tomorrow's feast. Is there, um, a lot of, a lot of people do the potatoes and the, turkey and dressing is there anything different out there that you guys a lot of a lot of people that view with Dixie Bell are not necessarily from um, our area so from the from the states maybe um, traditions in other countries obviously because Dixie Bell has a lot of followers from all over so I was just curious on um, the family traditions that go on um, for the food items that you put that you share with your families so here's our grays so i got the grays in you can see i've got all everything here and then i would start working up on the top here so um one of the things hmm, i didn't bring my squeegee out one of the things i thought about doing and i don't know if you guys know this or not but you can use silk screen with dixie bell paint I know a lot of people think that you have to use a chalk paste. You can use chalk paint um, because if you paint a lot like I do, you do probably have cans sitting around that's getting a little bit thick. Do not toss that out because that thick paint is perfect for silk screen. So I don't know. This is a silk screen um, stencil, silk screen stencil. And you can use these with Dixie Bell chalk paint. So I know that is something that a lot of people may not know that they can do. And most of the time you use it with a little squeegee. And I'm not seeing that I have one here. You can use a, um, a rewards card, anything like that that's a little bit stiff to do your paint. Um, in this case, I'm going to see if I can do it with a brush. So this will be trial and error It'll just be show you guys how you can use a silk screen and that's what I kind of wanted to do because we went live um, for chalk paint 101 and we did a silk screen using Dixie Bell chalk paint not paste so um, that was something I wanted to just kind of show you guys because it's kind of fun and new and um, I should be using a squeegee but I have a 
I do have a, I'm going to step up, hopefully you guys can still see, and I was going to see if I had anything stiff up here, because last night I was putting the, the Dixie Mud on this piece, and that's when I was using it, and that's probably when I placed it somewhere I don't know where it is. So that always happens. But anyway, I might could use the lid on that. So this is a this is a snowflake. I don't know if you can see that transfer. It's a um, snowflake. So I thought it'd be kind of cute to have some snowflakes up on his up on his hat. And I'm wishing that I had my but I might be able to I don't know if I can use that. Something my paint is really kind of thick in here. I hope I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty thick. It's been around a while. And let me see if I have something near me. Normally I always have a little something and I might be able to use this card. That way um, the brush might make it seep under the piece. So let me just see. So if you have a stiff piece of cardboard or something, and that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna just take a little bit of paint, and it is thick. You can see how it's just barely coming out. And this is something I've not seen a lot of people do, but I am going to do it. And I'm gonna take a little bit of it, and I'm gonna put it on here with this cardboard. Yeah, I think it'll work. Normally I try to have something. So this is a silk screen again that I have here. So it's a little bit different. Let me get that edge. Something different with Dixie Belle paint. So this is paint now. This is not, this is not chalk paste. And there you go. See how that goes on? Isn't that really awesome? And this is a silk screen. Um, so now I'm gonna turn it a different way. Let's do it this way and attach it. I'm gonna try to use it more than one time here. So I might get my hands dirty, but that's when my... So this is Dixie Belle paint, not chalk paste but it's thick, it's kind of thick. You know how your paint gets once in a while when it's sitting around. So don't let that um, fool you into not being able to use it. And there you go. See how nice that works out? And it's just Dixie, it's our Dixie Belle fluff that I'm using. And um, I'm just gonna come along in here and stick my silk screen down. And yes, I'm getting paint on my hands just as long as I don't get it on my board where I don't want it. And I'm gonna come in here with the rest of the paint that's on my little, make sure I got it down here. So this is something I wanted to show you guys. I love the silk screens. There's so much you can do with the silk screens. Um, let me make sure I get a little paint right there. And then you just pull, the, the trick is with the silk screen is to pull them off relatively quick so it's a nice clean, gives you a nice clean line. Let me get a few more in there because I'm loving the snowflakes on his little hat. So I'm just gonna come in here. I want it to stick down enough that um, I can get my paint under it. I might be pushing it because I didn't clean it. I'm just reusing it over and over. And sometimes, you know, you need to take them off and give them a little bit of water bath. So again, I'm just bringing my paint on, putting it here. And I don't know, just crafting tonight. Just crafting with Dixie Bell paint and a silk screen. So this is something that I haven't seen a lot of people do. Um, I'm not seeing many questions here. I hope you guys are still with us. If you are, let us know you're here. We thank you for coming on with us and viewing with us. And I'm going to continue on a little bit more. Maybe I see that it would have another snowflake right here. Try to land it down. 
without getting it all over my board. If you do get some paint um, on your board, like I just did a little bit, don't fret about it because you can always come in with your red and clean it up. There's no um, no worries there. You can always just kind of, and I'm just, you see, I'm just getting a little paint on my little, this would have been a squeegee. I'm just going to get my paint on here and come in and wipe it in. And this is a silk screen and I'm going to pull it off. And again, look how nice they turn out. It really does turn out nice. Even though I'm using paint, I'm not necessarily using a, um, a chalk paste. And let's just see. You may want one rather. So just have fun with it. Just play with it. Um, it don't be afraid to experiment with Dixie Belle paint as far as using it on other projects, like all your craft projects, you can always um, find something fun to paint um, in crafting with Dixie Belle as well. And I'm gonna pull that off. And I think we did pretty good there getting all of the snowflakes on. I have a little bowl of water here. And when I am doing my silk screens in a workshop, I just drop them in a bowl of water and let them sit as well. So that'll get that paint off of there. And um, just kind of clean up. If your cleanup is pretty easy. I always just come in here with my baby wipes and I use a baby wipe to clean it off. So you can see how you can just go along with your, um, with your whimsical, fun, gnome. It, didn't it doesn't take very long to create. And I did get a little on here. You can sometimes come in, and since this is only one coat, you can come in and kind of clean your work up with your uh, baby wipe. Just kind of clean it up. Or you can come in with a brush and sort of come in and clean it up. I left enough space at the lower part here where you could also take a silk screen and you could put welcome on the bottom. You can get um, stencils to put your name on the bottom. You could um, put, um, you know, a jolly Christmas, something. You could put anything. I tried to leave a little area here. Mostly in our workshops, when we leave a little area, you can personalize them at that point, and you can put the name of the family, or if you have a gnome crazy friend in your family that just loves your gnomes, you can put their name on it and give that to them as a Christmas gift. No one will ever guess what's behind that wrapper. <laughs> But um, it's just kind of a fun, fun, crafty uh, way of using some of your Dixie Belle paint colors that you may not necessarily uh, think of right off the bat. So you can come back in here. I'm just going to come back in and add a second coat to my nose here. So you can just kind of come in and clean it up. And then you might come in with a little bit of shading on the nose as well after this is done just kind of off the edge a little bit to make it look a little bit more authentic and you can always uh, come back in with your white with your fluff and add more more paint um, in other areas fill it in a little bit more um, along because this was just kind of a quick um, tutorial really to show you guys how to just get you a gnome going really quickly. If you've got a family member that you're wanting to gift to that loves the gnomes like crazy and just going over my gray, letting hiding my gray a little bit more um, up underneath so it looks a little bit more natural. You see, I kind of knock off some of the paint on my, on my um, baby wipe to help kind of Come in here I will come in a little bit more as well just kind of play with it make it your own this is just something fun it would have been it'd be nice a project um, on a lazy afternoon when it's snowing and you want to do something I'm a homeschool mom and you want to do something fun some artsy ideas with your youngins and you're snowed in this is just kind of a fun project as you can see 
um, when you do a workshop. They turn out multiple different ways because we can all paint with Dixie Belle paint and we all bring something a little different. Everybody's work is different. So we can all paint a gnome tonight and they would all turn out differently even if we all use the same paints. So um, that really makes it fun. So you, it's just a fun, creative thing to do. And when you have children in the home, it's just really, and homeschool, it's a fun little art craft project for them to do when they, they will be having time out of school soon and um, there'll be a way to pass some time with your, with your little ones as well. And you could come in and um, add maybe a little more with your coffee bean and just kind of maybe make this just a little hair bigger here to shadow it, shade it a little bit more and just kind of give it some more around the edges. So you can kind of see how it, how it plays out and it's just, just super fun. So um, I just wanted to come for a short time. I hope I didn't bore you guys too much with um, this little crafting activity that we did here tonight. But um, we hope you all um, have a very blessed Thanksgiving. We thank Dixie Bell for allowing us to take time in their airwaves to be with them as well. And um, we are um, very grateful to be here and if you'd like, uh, like to follow our page, our, it's up there in the uh, notes. We hope you all have a very blessed Thanksgiving, and we will see you guys some other time. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Thank you, Dixie Bell, for having us. Bye-bye, guys.